Welcome back to Same Right Fashion Academy YouTube channel for another interesting tutorial. In this class, you'll be learning the easiest method of making this beautiful kimono dress with strips on the front, strips on the kimono sleeve as well. Okay, so if you look at this dress, you can see it's actually looking so beautiful. It's actually a gown, as you can see right there on the thumbnail, and you'll be learning the technique to sew in this uh, collar strip beautifully well. So if this is what you want to learn in this class, please stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. I'll show you how to make this trendy kimono with front slits and buttons. So right there on the thumbnail, you can see we have uh, that beautiful kimono. So to make that kimono dress, this is my shoulder and this is the center front and center back. So I'm going to use this same one uh, pattern to cut out my front and my back pattern. So for the neckline, for the back, I'm going to use neckline width of 3 inches for back and front. For back, I'll use 1 inch and my shoulder, I'll measure at um, 0, 0 0.5 so I'll now come over here to create my back neckline okay so this is my back neckline and I'm going to create my front neckline my front neckline is three inches that is the basic neckline so I'll just go ahead and place my pattern ruler three by three. So this is my um, my shoulder line. So from my shoulder line, my kimono is going to get to my sleeve. It's actually very bogus. So it's going to get to my sleeve. So getting to my sleeve, I'm using, um, let me do 10 inches, okay? So from that point, I measured 10 inches that is from my shoulder to my sleeve i'm using 10 inches and i'm going to take the measurement of my chest line my chest line i is nine inches so i'll just make my line at nine inches so now i'm going to make a straight line this way from that point I'm making a straight line with dotted lines, but that is not the real kimono line. So I'll just do this. Then from here, I'll slant my kimono by one inch and connect it all the way to my neck line. Okay, to that neck line. And the next thing I want to do now is to create my kimono into the body pattern. So I'm actually using a half. This is not a full length gown as you are seeing right there on the thumbnail. It's not full length gown. I'm using the length of my paper to serve as this just to show you how to make this. So I'll just do this on the waistline. I'm going to make my mark on the waistline. Okay, but if you are making this, you need the hip line. But I'll use the waistline for what I want to do. So I'm going to place the measurement of my hip. My hip is um, 46 divided by 4 is 11.5 but i'm going to add ease to this dress if you look at it is somehow a boo boo so i'll add three inches so these three inches now i'm going to connect it or oh, let me do i don't actually want it to uh, let me do two inches okay you can also do three inches but it's okay let me just do two inches because two inches i have my multiply by four two times four will give me eight to my hip and is okay it's very much okay so i just draw a line to that point and then i'll bring in my ruler to connect my kimono curve of course you know how we usually connect our kimono so whatever I have here, I'm going to take it all the way from here to the end of the dress. So like I said, I'm not making the end of the dress. I'm just making it halfway. But just extend, what do whatever I do to the end. So now coming to the neckline, I'm going to make use of um, uh, 
Um, I'm using a strip of 2.5. So my strip from the center front measures 2.5 and I'll mark. And I'll come in, come out from my neckline and I'm going to measure from the neckline 0 0.5. So that's 0 0.5. I'll place my pattern ruler pointing to the 2.5 mark of my strip. So the 2.5 is going to be on the at the end of your dress, please take note at the floor length. So I'm pretending this is my floor length right now. Okay, so we are done with this drafting and I'm going to cut right away. So I'm cut now, I'm going to cut my dress. Okay, so I'll cut through the kimono. So you can still extend your sleeve if you wish to make an extension. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I will leave this sleeve at this point. So for this kimono, there is something I needed to uh, help you know. When making kimonos, we don't actually have the... We go in by one inch, okay? So it balances well at that point. So at this one inch, I'm going to slant it into this okay so another thing we are supposed to do is to come down from this okay because if you don't do that this sleeve is going to be tight it's actually going to be tight so i think we need to correct that let me put back my paper so we can get back this correctly because looking at that dress is actually the sleeve is actually big so this kimono is not a tiny uh, or small kimono, okay? So the chest line, you can come down from the chest line by even 1.5, okay? So from that chest line, I'll just do 1.5. Then this 1.5, I'm going to extend it and then do this to that point. So this one inch, I went in now. I'll go it in with it at this point then i'll come in with my pattern ruler and do what i did at the upper part i'll do it here that is the kimono curve okay so once that is done i'll place my ruler from that shoulder drop of one inch to the one inch we went in for the sleeve so with this we have our perfect kimono as it is right there on the thumbnail so i'll just go ahead and cut now cut into the kimono curve cut into the sleeve cut into the shoulder drop and remember we are going to reconnect this okay so you just come in with your pattern ruler once again on the neckline since we came out by 0 0.5 we connected only the front neckline but now i'm going to connect the back neckline so you can see how i did that from here to here i connected it right away so that is that people and i'll go ahead and cut out the front the back first okay so the back is going to be on food and this is the back this part i'm cutting now is the back so i'll be placing my my um, fabric right now so the fabric i'll be using is for demonstration so i'll just come in with my i'm going to cut the back so to cut the back dress, I'll just place my fabric on fold. So I'm placing it on fold. So this is it. I'll place my pattern on fold. Okay. So I don't really have enough fabric here, okay, for this class. So I will just make a short length of the back, then make a full length of the front. So the most important thing is to get the gist of what we are doing right here. 
So this is my fabric on fold right away. So I just place this pattern. Okay, so I just place this pattern right there. So like I said, if you are making yours, please ensure you make yours a big pattern. So I'll just go ahead and add one inch for my side seam this way one inch then here I'll add 0 0.5 I'll also go ahead and add 0.5 and once I get here I add on the neckline 0.5 so this is what I have now. Can you see? This part is on fold. And I've added my seam allowances. So I'll take off my pattern for the back and keep it. Then I'm going to cut this part. So for the front, I'm already cutting. Okay? So I'll keep cutting and cut off. So I don't need this one again. So this is what I'm going to use to cut the front. So the front, I'm cutting two pieces of it. I'll come with my fabric as well. And I'm cutting two pieces. So these two pieces now, I'll just place my pattern. And I'm going to add my allowances. So here, I'll add my one inch. My one inch. So you can still extend this sleeve. Remember, you, the sleeve can be extended a little more than 10 inches. Okay, so you must not go by the 10 inches. You can even make it 12. So it depends on how big you want the sleeve to be. So I'm going to cut my uh, hem. Then for the front, I'm going to add 0 0.5 inch. And this 0 0.5 inch, I'm going to use it to sew the strip of 2.5, which I'm going to cut. Okay. So now I'll bring my fabric now for the strip. I'm going to cut my strip at 2.2. Point five. So I'll cut it now and bring it for you to see. Okay. So I'll make sure this matches up. Okay. With my 1.5 inch. So that is that. And that is how your pattern should be for this. So before I go ahead to, um, to sew this strip, you are going to bring the back pattern and the front pattern. So this is the back pattern piece. I'm going to open up the back pattern. So I'm looking for the front piece, the part that is the right side. So this is my right side. You can see it now. So I'll come in with my front pattern piece. So I'll find my right side too. So this is my right side so this right side i'll place right side to right side right side to right side so i'll go to my machine now i'm going to stitch from here to here and stitch from here to here close up that part then i'll also stitch the sides close up the side but before i stitch the side I'll just stitch this part and run the strip for you to see. So this is my, I've joined the uh, front and back. So this is my front. You can see my front. And this is the neckline for the back. So right now, I'm going to take the measurements of what I have on the neckline where we are going to sew the strip. So the strip... I'll measure from end to end. From here, I'm going to measure to the neckline and I'll take it to the back neckline. I'll take it to and bring it down to the to the end. 
so here you can see i have 59 inches so the length of my strip is also going to be the same 59 inches so i've already cut a length of 59 inches a strip you can see that so this is my strip right now if you have a full length fine you can still join if you don't have enough fabric so i have to join because i don't have enough fabric so here you can see what i did what i have here remember the opening was 2.5 multiply by 2 will give you 5 plus 1 inch to stitch that 0 0.5 here 0 0.5 that is 1 inch so the whole of this is 6 inches as you can see and the length is the measured 59 so i've already gone ahead to make a crease line you are going to fold it into two equal parts so i'll go over to the machine now i'm going to sew this to the neckline starting from here so i'll just place it this way okay i'll just place it this way i place it this way and sew just the normal way right side to right side i'll run it round so i'll do that and i'll bring it back to tell you what next to do all right so i've gone ahead to sew my strip as you can see on the neckline can you see that so the next thing i'm going to do is to top stitch i'm going to top stitch this strip right now uh, so it lays well so you can see i have to sew this way right side to right side so in top stitching now I'll flip it to this part and sew right on top. I'm flipping this part to this part so it lays flat. So I'll quickly do that now and I'll proceed to the joining of the side and sewing of the sleeve. So now I've top stitched. So you can see my top stitching line. Okay. So you can see it lays right here. So you can also weave this part. You can weave it to give it a nice uh, look. So this is the strip for the front so you can see how it is so the next thing we want to do now is to go ahead and sew our buttons we are going to sew our normal button loops and sew the button right here okay at intervals you want so at different intervals you want you can just start from uh, measure the neckline you desire and sew your buttons to it so i will show you how to also sew this part right now which is the sleeve so i open the sleeve now i'm going to also cut my strip of 2.5 inch sew it i'll show you how to sew it coming over to the sleeve right now so this is the sleeve that is the kimono sleeve so before we sew this i'm going to open it up and take the measurements I'm taking the measurement of my sleeve for this strip. So from here, I'll measure and I have 20 and a half. So I've already cut out my strip for all of them. So this is it, the 20 and a half by length. The width here is 4 inches. So I'm going to place right side this way. This is the right side. And I'm going to sew the wrong side. This is the wrong side. I'll place it on top of the right side. So I'll go to my machine now. I'm going to sew a straight stitch. Then I'll bring it back to show you how to turn it. I've run my stitches on it. So the next thing I'll do is to flip it this way. You can go over to your machine and press it down. Uh, to your ironing table, sorry. Press it down on that edge. So once it's pressed on that edge, you secure with your pins. And I'll just go ahead and fold in my 0 0.5. So it depends on the width of strip you want. I used 4 inches here. I've sewn 3 inches, uh, half an inch, half an inch now. So I'll be left with, I'll be left with um, 3 inches. So if you want it, maybe 2 inches, you use 3 and half. So I'll just go ahead now and sew this. I'll sew it, top stitch on top of it and bring it back for you to see so now i've top stitched so you can see the top stitches right now and this is what the back kimono looks like right away so i will go ahead and give it a good press then i'll repeat what i did here on the sleeve the other part of the sleeve then i'll join 
my kimono and run a straight stitch and weave okay and that is how to go about this dress so let me so now i'm done sewing the the sleeve so you can see the sleeve you can see the inside is neatly finished so i've given it a good press so this is the neckline you can go ahead and search or weave the other part so the next thing we want to talk about now we want to talk about the buttons how to make the buttons so i'm using my bias to make my button this is my bias and i'm going to measure as it is right here okay i'm going to measure from the back neckline i'm going to measure seven inches that is where i'm going to start my button so make sure you keep it very well before you take your measurements. So this is my 7 inches. So after 7 inches, I will sew my next loop at 4. I will be giving 4-4 four, four interval, 4-4 four, four inch interval for both loop and button. So I will keep doing that till I get to the end of this dress. So from here, I will mark 4. I'll mark four. So I'll sew my loop on the right and sew my button on the left. So my buttons will be here. My loops will be here. So I'll just go over to the machine. I'm going to cut my loops. This is my bias. I'll just fold it in this way. And I'm going to measure what I have here. Okay. So the measurement, it depends on the button you want to use, actually. So... You just check the button, but I'm using two inches here, as you can see. So since I have four buttons for this particular dress, I'll just go ahead and cut two, two inches into four. And I'll go over to the machine and sew my loop. So this is the method I'm going to use to sew my loop. This is my bias. I will fold it in this way and I will turn it this way. Can you see? Yeah, by leaving my button loop. Then I'm going over to the machine. Like I said, the loop will be sewn on the right. So I'll place it at the back like this and top stitch on top of it. So I'm going to repeat this for all of them and I'll bring it back for you to see. So I've gone ahead to sew my loops. So these are my loops. You can see how I top stitched them. So I've also sewn my buttons. So I'll just go ahead and button them. Okay. So when I wear my dress, I'll just go ahead and button them. So if you are making a longer length, that is it for you. It goes all the way from the neckline. Okay. So if you feel that the 7 inches is high, you can also take off your loop and sew it a little bit down. But I think 7 inches is okay. It depends on the height of your button. So this is actually a simple dress and gorgeous dress as well. Okay, and it's very simple to make. So thank you very much for coming to this tutorial. So if you are new to this channel, please kindly subscribe, turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day. Like this video, share to family and friends, drop your comment on the comment section and your suggestions as well. So thank you for coming once again and see you in the next class. Bye.